Hey guys, this is Rich Tower Vape. Uh, just wanted to tell you before I start saying anything that what I'm about to tell you is purely my opinion. It's not a review because a review would involve explaining what uh, the device is or what the e juice is in regards to vaping. I'm just giving you my opinions and a quick rundown of the flavors that I've tried from. Ginger's e juice, Ginger's e juice.com. Uh, my friend Kristen um, owns this company, and basically they've been uh, they've been making juice for the past year now. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, I'm really biased towards her juice. I love it. Um, I love a lot of her flavors, which is why I can't even be objective. So take it for what you will. But I'm going to tell you straight up what I feel about each of these juices, okay? So, there's about, there's over 50 flavors, and here we go. Feel free to take any notes if you're interested in ginger Z juice, or if you're planning on uh, buying some in the future. Maybe what I'm saying might help you since I've been vaping her juice since July of last year. So, okay, ready? I have them separated into four categories. Juices that I think you absolutely should try, absolutely um, must get, in my opinion, I put in the Uber Nom category. Uh, juices that I find very good. Um, did, oops, sorry, that's my phone. Um, that are very good that you would uh, probably uh, enjoy, but they aren't on my top, top list or in my Nom category. Juices that I think are uh, okay, they're all right. Um, I put into okay category, so you can go either way. And then there's just pure out fail. E juice flavors that I do not enjoy. Um, taste is subjective. These are my opinions. Not a full review, just let it rip. Okay. So in the fail category, since I have like most of these here, I got them either in plastic or. Uh, Ginger does recommend that you that you uh, should order her juice um, using the amber bottles because it keeps um, uh, the flavors her flavor basis at peak. Um, I guess it you know keeps her concentrated peak flavor. Um, so she told me, and I have taken her advice, and I have slowly started to buy a lot of my e juices. Using the amber bottles, bottles in the dripper. So here we go. In the fail category, absolutely, I'm not a fan of blueberry sweetheart and tree ripened tangerine. In the okay category, I have pina colada, pumpkin spice eggnog, fizzy grape soda, and giant gumball. In the nom category, I have strawberry shortcake, cafe espresso. Cranberry Champagne, Carolina Blend, Silk Road Tobacco, Arctic Mist Menthol, Hawaiian Punch, Winter Green Mint, Very Cherry, uh, Fireball, Root Beer Float, um, The Pompous Pomegranate, Tobacco Light, Classic, Classic Tobacco, Classy Tobacco, Four Leaf Clover, Seven leaves of bait of backy, it's kind of shorter, kind of sort of shady. Chocolate coconut almond, peppermint, spearmint, and wintergreen mint. Now, the next set of G juices that I'm going to name are absolutely must try first. At least the way, the way I look at it. Here we go with the Uber noms. Warm shady breeze, basket of berries, vanilla sunrise. Old Fashioned Sugar Cookie, Blueberry Streusel, Watermelon Waterfall for the win. Okay, Groovy Menthol, Mixed water, Watermelon with Groovy Menthol. Now, people that have read my blogs know that I vape that a lot. So, yeah, that's like my favorite mix when it comes to her juices. Uh, nutty Nana Bread, the Caramel Cappuccino, Totally Nanners, which is her banana. And people that know me know that I love banana. So, definitely the Totally Nanners. Uh, <laughs> Juicy White Peach. The Green Apple Hard Candy. 
cherry vanilla, peaches and cream, cinnamon candy. Now, mind you, I'm not even a cinnamon fan, but her cinnamon candy is ridiculously off the hook. Um, sweet strawberry, menthol tobacco, lime and drop, and Boston cream pie. Yeah! So, um, so anyway, thoughts about flavors that I hope Ginger will make? Okay, uh, she already has the lime and drop, so I'm hoping that she decides to make an iced tea e-juice because I would mix the lime and drop with, uh, the iced tea to make sort of an Arnold Palmer because I've been ridiculously hooked on, like, the half and half lemonade iced tea kind of vape lately. And you guys know why I've talked about that specific flavor of e-juice for the past couple of video blogs now, or um, uh, could, uh, blogs that I've put up on SoundCloud on audio. So, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So, there it is. Ginger's e-juice. How I feel about the flavors. Thanks a lot.